Welcome to HubSpot with Paragon, Questions Edition. Today we're answering a question from CropFee247. says, uh, creating a date property on a company record is useless as you cannot trigger any workflows based on this date. There are multiple reasons for this. We track certain contract renewals on the company record, quarterly, half, yearly reviews and reminders to schedule, etc. If you can use a date field as a trigger on a contact, why not a company? So crop fee, we can actually do that. I'm going to actually show you how to do that. So I'm going to switch over to our little test portal today. And I've actually created a, a company data uh, date test. So I'm going to go back and just kind of walk through this um, directly and just create it as a workflow. So I'm going to do a company-based workflow here. And I'm going to name it company. All right, now that I've... Uh, created this it's a company based one I'm going to set the trigger so this is the challenge they had so I actually created a custom field called renewal date made it a date field and I'm going to come over to company and I'm going to search for the field that I created which was renewal date and then I'm going to be able to figure I'm able to trigger off of this date now um, what occurs so I've taken a renewal date which I could pull from um, from a deal if I wanted to maybe the last deal would update um, based on it or when they became a client or just manually put it in and I would say that if it's more than um, you know if it's more than 360 days from now and apply this filter and what's interesting is I'm triggering this really early it's actually triggering 360 days um, actually 360 days from now update that and I'm going to create a task then based off of this. So I'm actually going to create a task that is at a set date. And so if I wanted to do this at, um, I want to do like a quarterly review, then I would do this at like six or like at 90 days from now. So 90 days from this triggering. So that would be three months from now. And I would say quarterly quarter and then this would be like my review I put in some notes the type to do to call I can um, set priority who it's related to just like you would set up any other task save this and now I've got a task for quarterly I can do that again I can create another task that would be um, that would be created when at a set date so this would be at 180 days Right, so that would be in Q2 or mid-year. Um, do the same thing. So it'd be another review one. So and so now I'd have these these tasks that are created. The trigger is from the date. So if the renewal date is more than 360 days from now. Then create these tasks and these tasks that actually don't get created until um, until those dates that I've set, which is 90 days from now. I can even set the reminders for it. So you can set a trigger based off of the date. Um, there's a variety of ways that you can do this, and then you can create tasks associated with it as well. This is just one way that you can do it. There are definitely other ways you could do it. You could put delays in here. So you can say if the renewal date's from here, then set a delay for 90 days, then do this unless something else has changed. So hopefully this helps answer your question. Please let me know if you need more. And as always, please reach out to Paragon at paragon.com to help you with any other HubSpot needs that you might have.